It's not often that an on-street cycle lane changes to become an off-street cycle track in the Netherlands. But when it does, the transition is smooth. The same goes for the reverse. These transitions usually take place right before or right after junctions. When you go from one type of street to another, from a 30 km per hour zone into a through street, turning the corner means you get onto a cycle track. From streets where you cycle on the carriageway, which are standard in a 30 km per hour zone, into the off street cycle tracks that are standard on through streets. When junctions are larger, the transition takes place before you get to the actual junction. In this case we make a left turn and we can do that on the cycle tracks on the junction itself. Even though the street we came from had no cycle tracks. Sometimes you go from a street with an on-street cycle lane to a road with a protected cycle track. These transitions also take place before the junction. That means we can bypass the traffic light for our right turn. When you approach a roundabout from a street without cycleways, the cycle track will also start before you get to the roundabout. So the design of the roundabout is clear, with cycleways, with priority, which is the preferred type of roundabout in the built-up area in the Netherlands. In this case, the street we turn into has again separate cycle tracks. It can also be the other way around. We approach on a cycle track and turn into a street with cycle lanes. Sometimes cycle streets turn into a cycle track by simply sending motor traffic away, to the left in this case, or to the right in this case. When a street without cycling infrastructure crosses a street with cycle tracks, the junction will usually also have cycle tracks. Before we get to the junction, the cycle track starts and we make the crossing on the cycle track. Once we are on the other side of the junction, the cycle track ends again, mainly because we enter a 30 km per hour zone. This is pretty much standard in the Netherlands now. Protected cycle tracks on distributor roads that end the moment you arrive in a 30 km per hour zone. Where the 30 km per hour zone starts, the cycle track ends. But people cycling have priority where the actual transition takes place. When we leave this roundabout in a distributor road, we enter a residential area in a 30 km per hour zone. The cycle path ends and gently takes people cycling into the shared street. Cycle tracks join the carriageway a bit like car lanes join a motorway. There are no sharp turns and curves so that the transition can be made at a reasonable speed. Well designed transitions do not force you to slow down but allow you to cycle on, at speed and in a safe way.